Hey there, my name is Florian and I'm the developer of the Rich Snippets plugin for WordPress. In this video I want to describe what Rich Snippets are and how you can integrate them with my plugin into your WordPress site. So let's get started. To understand what Rich Snippets are, you have to understand what Schema.org is. The website was founded by Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and Yandex. So all the big search engines have worked together to create one big vocabulary that can be used to integrate structured data into your website. Although search engines can do a lot to find out what's going on on your website, sometimes this doesn't work correctly. They sometimes don't even know what elements can be found there. And that's why Schema.org exists. Just click on Schemas on the top right corner and then on full list of types. Now you can see all the possibilities. Everything begins with the so-called thing. From there elements get more and more precise when you go down the tree. Under creative work for example you can find an article. And under event, you can find some different event types like business event or a music event. If you go straight to the very bottom, you can find the product. This is the schema that we want to use later in the example. For instance, the product schema could be used on a WordPress blog post if you reference to a product in your text. In this case, you would tell the search engines that you are writing about a specific product. If we now have a look on the specification, we can see all properties a product can have. For a product, it would be helpful to tell the search engines a product name and the manufacturer. The name can be found here and the manufacturer can be found here, for example. Of course, there are a lot more properties. If you have a look at example 2 in the very bottom, then we can see a continuous text about a product that contains a lot more data. For example, a price and a star rating. Search engines can understand the exact data written in your post if you declare a product using the product schema. From this structured data, search engines can build the so-called rich snippets, that is, more or less a graphical depiction of that data. On its developer help pages, Google shows some good examples. Here a rich snippet for a product. If we declare a price, then Google shows a price. And if we rate it, the stars show up. On our test pages, you can see some more examples. Here a product snippet with a rating and the stars. And here a rich snippet for recipes with an image and the color is showing up. Unfortunately, not every schema gets translated into a rich snippet. However, search engines just began to integrate even more of them. Google, for example, can show up rich snippets for articles, books, for events, or even more. Let's go back to our example again. There are different possibilities on how to integrate the schema syntax. Until lately, this was achieved by integrating into HTML directly. And this is how it looked like. It looks massively complex, right? Of course it is especially for someone who is not familiar with HTML or code in general. It gets even more complex when multiple schemas should get nested together, as you can see here when you integrate a review to a product. A few months ago a new, more compact format was introduced, the JSON-LD format. This is how it looks like. Seems even more complex as the previous one, right? The big advantage of this format is that it can be distributed by a plugin very easy. And I will show you how to integrate rich snippets super easy via point and click just now. 
Here I have prepared a short blog post about a product. As you can see, there are more things that you can declare with Schema, like the title, like here or here, the brand, an offer from Amazon with the price and a star rating or a normal rating. After the plugin was installed, you can find a simple meta box that allows you to add rich snippets. Simply click on the Add a Rich Snippet button to choose a schema. You can either search for a specific one, like the creative work, or choose from the list of popular items. This is what I do now with the product. After that, the plugin loads the most important properties of the current chosen schema. And now I will fill the fields quickly. Alright, now you see all the different values for the product. Sometimes I did not enter anything, instead I've linked to other things like you can see here, the image links to the post thumbnail, which is the one on, you can see to your right. And uh, the name, which is automatically loaded from above. So this is the post title. You can see the rating, five stars out of five. My offer from Amazon, um, with a price of a uh, thousand euros. And last but not least, the brand, which is, has the name of or a value of Apple here. If we now have a look at a possible search result, then our rich snippet can look like this one here. Of course, it's totally up to the search engines if and how they show your rich snippets. As you can see in this case, we are missing the price here. And now start creating your own rich snippets with the rich snippets plugin for WordPress. Thanks for watching and see you soon.